Sky High Radio. Sky High Radio. To get close to you. So the latest track there, we have it from uh, the boys over at Recall. It is What Can I Do? Right here on Sky Radio, I'm joined live on the air by Alejandro from Recall. Good evening, Alejandro. Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to Sky Radio and to the Perfect Music Mix. It's a pleasure to have you on air with us. Um, many of you guys will know Alejandro from this year's X Factor. He was on uh, ITV1 this year. He got as far as boot camp and it was unfortunately sent home. Um, but Alexand- Alejandro had wowed Nicole with his English and Spanish version of Hero. So, um, Alejandro, welcome. Thank you very much. I also have some other members from, from Rico with me. That's Brilliant. Uncle me. I'm Alex. I'm Lewis. And they are Rico. So, uh, who, who have I got back on air? How is everyone then in the uh, studio? We're, we're keeping well, keeping good. The, the chat room is, is going crazy with fans of yours uh, sending in their questions and requests. The email um, inbox is completely flooded. So if we have a chance at the end of the interview, we, we'll read out some of the questions for you guys to answer. Looking forward to it. So, Alejandro, when, when did you first start singing? Um... I started singing when I was about six years old in small theatre kind of performances. But then I realised that I wanted to do like bigger performances, so I went to the more the, the poppy side, commercial side of the music, hence why I auditioned for The X Factor. Okay. And was it from a very early age that you started singing, or, or was it something recently that you got into? Yeah, it was, it was about, I'd say it was about five, six years old. It was absolutely amazing. I enjoyed it as soon as I did it. <laughs> yeah, and it shows in your performances as well. It's, it's something you love. Um, are your family supportive of, of your career and, and what you want to do with music? And, and when, you were, when you decided to go for the X Factor, were they fully behind you? Yeah, definitely. I mean, they, like, we had to pay for travel up to Manchester like every single weekend to do the X Factor. We had to wait for 19 hours in total to audition. Um, so yeah, I'd say they're pretty, pretty supportive, not going to lie. <laughs> That, that sounds like a, a fair old trek, all right. Um, so w- what made you apply for The X Factor? Um, was it your first time applying this year, or have you applied before? Well, I have, I've never applied, um, applied before, because I've never actually been old enough. I mean, I just missed it last year, but um, obviously this year I'm 17, which is great. And I just kind of wanted to use it as a platform to get my music out there and get heard. Yeah, and, and it's done that for you. Um, well, I think it's done that for you. I can remember following your Twitter from, from day one, from your first performance on the um, on the X Factor, and I, I think you went from seven or 800 followers on Twitter, and that skyrocketed to about 21,000 within, within a day. Yeah, it was, it was absolutely mental. I think it was actually 250. And then I can actually remember when I was watching my audition, I refreshed it, and it was straight up to 8,000 in like a second. <laughs> That that must have been quite a daunting experience. What, what was running through your head when 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 you when when all this was happening and and when you were standing there in front of the three judges on the X Factor? I don't even know. It was mental. I mean, I had I had all, obviously all my friends and family backstage and just hearing them scream before I heard the audience scream. It was just absolutely. <laughs> Yes, I did quite. It was the whole United Nations. <laughs> yeah, you you were on national television. There was millions of people watching you. I could, I could only imagine what was going through your head. I, I, oh, I don't even know. I mean, just obviously at that point we didn't know that it was going to be on national TV, but the fact that, but the fact that it was the, it was a possibility, it was just amazing. Yeah. What What was your first impression when you when you seen the judges and when you when you entered the audition room? To be honest, I was, I was the fact that I had to meet Caroline Flack, Derma O'Leary, Nicole Scherz, singer Gary Barlow, Louis Walsh, and Sharon all in the space of ten minutes. It was just mental. You kind of have to get past the starstruck bit and just sing for them. Yeah, I, th- I think after the first three minutes, I'd I'd have pretty much dropped to the floor in in, in shock with with the starstruck. Um, I can remember <laughs> I, I I met a local radio presenter one time from from a, a big station here in Ireland, and, and I couldn't even speak when I was speaking to him. I got so starstruck, so I could only imagine what would happen if I was standing there in front of Nicole Jartsinger. Yeah, definitely, and the fact that he was judging me on the singing and it was. I can't even. It was mental. Absolutely so mental. It, it wasn't just the the audition room that you were in. You made it as far as boot camp, and um, you managed to win and wow Nicole Scherzing over at your Spanish version of Hero. What what made you sing the the, the lyrics in Spanish? I think it. Well, I've been, obviously been watching the X Factor for 
uh, eight years now, and I've never actually seen anyone sing in a different language. So I thought it kind of gave me a little bit of an an edge. So um. <laughs> I'm Sorry, bad like, my, my, my other band members actually laughed at me when I said that. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so well, that it did. It gave you the edge. And you also got a standing ovation from the crowd as well. Yeah, that was insane. I mean, I couldn't even ask for... We, the only way we should have made it better, I think, is if Gary Barlow stood up, but he didn't. So, never mind. You know what? There, there's sometimes there's just no pleasing that guy, I think. Sorry, say that again? I, th- I think sometimes there's just no pleasing Gary Barlow. I think he wants to be the next Simon Cowell of the show. Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, he kind of replaced him, didn't he? Yeah, he he did in a way. He took his seat, and and then I think the attitude must have just came with the seat. Yeah, yeah. So, have you got any Wait, other? I can, hit- I can- Sorry, no. Go carry ahead. On. <laughs> uh, well, I was just going to say. I mean, the whole process has been an absolute dream. I don't want to say that because it sounds so cliche, but it was. It's almost been hell and heaven at the same time. I mean, obviously, you get all the the stick in the press and you get all the bad things said about you but I think that it kind of gets outweighed by all the um, the positives and it's, it's, it's absolutely brilliant I mean if, any, if there's any singers out there and they want to they want to make it somewhere definitely try for the X Factor because it gives you a great experience and a really really good platform and, and the exposure from it is quite good as well like you guys there are at the premiere of the Hardy Bucks in, in London this evening on the red carpet I, I don't think you yeah, would have been there if it wasn't for the X Factor I know exactly. I mean, I wouldn't be standing here with these four boys. I have to, yeah. have to, have to, have to kind of say, every, everyone say hello. Everyone say hello. Hello, hello. Yo. <laughs> Well, I wouldn't be standing here with these four boys if it wasn't for the X Factor. Exactly. So th- there was good that came out of being sent home. Sorry, say that again? Th- there was some good um, came out of being sent home. Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, it's been... Like, like tonight, we've actually been... Um, We've actually been at a movie premiere, and it's well, on the red carpet, and it's been absolutely amazing. I mean, there've been other X Factor contestants like like Shelley, some people from Towie, Eastenders, and it was it was the Hardy Bucks movie. Mm-hmm. Joe Calzaghi, did that. Who was that? Joe Calzaghi, the boxer. Oh yeah, he was there. Down looked it out though, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. I was in you, so you know me But yeah, I mean, it's, it's absolutely crazy. I mean, sitting in sitting in that theatre and then having all these famous people around you is a really, really surreal experience. And is that is that your your first time doing anything like that? Oh yeah, definitely. Um, and as soon as we got the opportunity last night, actually, we were told last night. I jumped in it and I couldn't sleep till about two in the morning. So I, I could imagine it, it. It was a pretty pretty short notice thing, was it? Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, I had some like panic buying this morning in Brighton, <laughs> having to buy my outfit and stuff. I, I, I was... still looks terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure that's not true. I'm sure some of your female fans oh, would yeah. would like to disagree there. See, Alex, Alex is the one in the group who um, always puts him down. Yeah, always puts me down. No. <laughs> <laughs> that's not true. That's not true. Not that. Not that. That that, that, now, that now has been captured live on 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 national radio. Well, oh, wor- right. worldwide, <laughs> worldwide radio. We're we're worldwide on the the internet. Oh yeah, so, so everyone give Alex Woolhead some hate on Twitter, please, because he bullies me. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a lovely guy. I'm a lovely guy. And I'm you've got a lovely lovely Tommy and Lewis. <laughs> so, what what other hidden talents do you and the other members of the band have? Do you play the saxophone? Do you do you do you use a unicycle in your spare time? Has anyone got any any hidden talents? I am the world. I can do Rubik's Cube in under two minutes. No, you Say that can't. again. You can, yeah, you can. I can do the Rubik's Cube in under two minutes. That's Lewis, Lewis. Lewis, he's a, he's a pretty massy guy. Here's Tommy. I can score a FIFA goal within three minutes. <laughs> and that ain't real time, that's FIFA time. <laughs> this is Alex. I can lose 7 0 on FIFA and quit. <laughs> and this is Dale. I haven't got any. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he can cover his freckles very well with makeup. <laughs> <laughs> He can also sound very, 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 very similar to Ollie Murs when he sings. Nah, no, no. <laughs> yeah. Does he want? Does he want to give us a blast of an Ollie Murs song over the air so we can be the judge of that? Yeah. Do you want to give a bit of a blast of an Ollie Murs song? Really? Go on. This is going to be absolutely fantastic because we are in the middle of the street. It's going to be brilliant. It will play for an end on. Do it. Come on down. Give me one minute, come on down. You're, you're, you're live on air now. 
Freddie Coleman. Give me one minute. Dale, are you ready? No, not really. He's, guys, I'm sorry, he's too embarrassed. <laughs> For someone who was on national television, embarrassment. Yeah, someone who was on national television, come on, Dale. No, that doesn't, see, that doesn't bother me. When, when it was TV, like Ali said, you just got to get over it and you do it. Whereas in the street, when there's people walking past you, it's a bit like... What happens in this case? Why don't you all be part of your audition self? Sorry, say that again. What, what happens in the case of you're standing in front of 50,000 people at the O2? Exactly, exactly, exactly. exactly. What happens if you're standing in front of 50,000 people at the O2? But that's different because then the peg is deep. No, <laughs> just sing so long. <laughs> how, how about this? How about if we all sing a tiny bit of our audition song that we did on the X Factor? Okay. Yeah, Ali, you can go first. How does that sound? Sounds perfect, go ahead. Sounds perfect? All right, Ali, you go first. Okay, okay. Si pudiera ser tu héroe. Can you explain, Mike? Si pudiera ser tu Dios. All right, then. Right, okay. Here's Tommy. Is it? Yeah, go, Tommy. I'll sing a Mario, let me love you. You come, man. Just wait a second. Wait a second. Well, wait, let's 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 go. Watch this. I'm screaming every. I like this. It's like live live radio. Like, 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 oh no! Hold on. Hold on. We're not ready. We call live at Nando's. <laughs> go for it, Tommy. I'll try and do one line. Go, go. You should let me love you. That's it. Is that it? I've got the rest of it. Right, go on, Alex. I don't want to go last. Alex, you ready? I'm boring. I don't want to go last. I can't make you love me if you don't. One line, there you go. Jen, there there you go. Are you ready for Dale? Mm -hmm. why, why is it a big dog? Summer listen to Dale Ali. Went to in London. How you make him play? Because I used to rock in Converse with your old red bank. Oh. If you're skipping in the places that we used to be. Because I'll rip you somewhere listening to Dale Ali. There you go. There, there we go. go. Did you, did hey, you hear well the done. There? <laughs> well right, done. Lewis. Actually, yeah, that's a good point. Lewis, in fact, was in a group before he started, and they were split up, and Lewis was taken through to boot camp. So, I mean, yeah. that's, that's something good, isn't it? Yeah, that's something good, and then I met you guys, so even better. Even better. Now he's, got, now he's got a better group. And even, <laughs> even better things to come in the future, I think. Oh, absolutely. I mean, I, th I, I think we can make it, guys. I'm not going to lie. I know. <laughs> 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 got to think positive. And joking, joking. Crack on. I, mean, I, I agree. And I'll Carry on. So, so that kind of brings me into my next point. You formed a band. Um, what are your hopes for the group for the future? Where, where do you see yourself this time next year? Guys, where do we see where, where do we see ourselves this time next year? Smashing the O2. Where do we hope to be? Or where do we see ourselves? Where we, we, we hope to be selling out arenas and absolutely smashing it every gig. Uh, where we see ourselves at the moment is ten minutes away from Nando's table. <laughs> <laughs> Can't, can't beat a bit of Nando's. Yeah, I mean, Nando. I mean, actually, oh my God. Oh, I love Dale, Nando's. Dale had his first meal at Nando's today. Can we have a round of Nando's? Nando's, 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 Nando's. <laughs> you know how it is. I, I, my, I was a Nando's virgin myself up until two years ago, so I suppose... See? See? Oh. Oh. It's a common... It was a late one as well. It, it was a late a one common. as well. <laughs> it's nothing to be ashamed, trust me. It's a late bloomer, bless him. Late bloomer. <laughs> it hasn't blossomed yet. I, I suppose I, I can win by default there because they only came to Ireland two and a half years ago. Well, okay. yeah, that's fair. How did you feel after your first Nando's? Bloated. <laughs> I, I don't think it's, it's fair to say on air. But the food, the food is the food is the food is good and it's cheap. So, and they're getting free advertising on air now. Oh yeah. Um. So what was your next point? So, give us a little background on the track we just played. Um. Where did the lyrics come from? When was it thought up? When when did you guys record it? Give us a bit of a background. Uh it was um a song that was. It was a song that was uh, sent to us by a very good friend of our managers, and he sent it through to us. And we had a listen, and we really like. We, like, on both like time, we really liked the song, we liked the lyrics. We we felt that we could relate to the song and make it our own. And uh, we yeah, also we feel we could make it our own. So we took the song on board. We worked hard it all day, and um, uh, we rehearsed it, rehearsed it nonstop. And then when we recorded it, we feel like it's come together. And it's, it's you know, we, we're really happy with it.
It did take a little bit of time to get the harmonies right, I'm not going to lie. We were standing there for about three hours trying to get these harmonies. And then there's a one take down on the back end. Yeah, one take down, one take down. Yeah, that was a point. I, a point I was going to make. The harmonies on the track are are pretty pretty phenomenal. Um, it, it's a, all in all a good Thank track. You. Thank you very much. So, the, I, I haven't got really many more questions to ask you. That's kind of pretty much my own interview done. Um, but I, as you know, a lot of your fans have been sending in questions left, right, and centre today. Um, so, oh, I'm do, excited. Do, 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 do you want to answer a few questions? Cool. Yeah, of yeah, course. Go. go. So. One fan um, sends a question. Chloe in the Isle of Wight asks, if you become famous, do you think you'd ever go back on the show to perform if you're asked to invite it back? Yeah, of course you would. Never. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely, yeah, definitely, yeah, would. definitely would. Of course you would. Yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, we've got to be grateful to X Factor because obviously without the X Factor, us boys wouldn't have met each other. So we, we, we'd love to go back. X Factor is the foundation of the group, basically. I think it's a really good experience as well. I mean, it was hard on us. But, I mean, like, emotionally and physically, I mean, having to get up at, like, five in the morning. Having uh, to do Ali Andrews hair in the morning. Yeah, and I had to do Tommy's makeup, you know. Oh, 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 Brilliant. So we've got another question from Courtney Dutton in Liverpool. She wants to know what's the best thing about being in recall with the other lads. What's that? Sorry, can you say that again? What's the best thing about being in recall with, with the other guys? Is it just, just the fact that we're all together? Like, we all yeah. get on. We actually, like, it's so crazy. Time with me. It's so crazy, <laughs> but we actually like brothers. Like, we yeah. just get on so well. We just, oh, like, yeah. that we're doing this together. Yeah. It's just like... It, it seems oh. strange, but because we all met like, each other... The fact, the fact that me and Alejandro were just roommates together, and then we... Don't forget me. All right. Oh, you're roommates too, brother. All right, on the second night, Alex was roommate as well. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, me and Tommy are obviously roommates from um, day one. I can actually remember running around with this ticket with, the, with our room number on. And I found him. It was like Charlie, Charlie the Chocolate Factory. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> Did anyone room 29? Yeah. Anyone room 29 that? I just saw Tommy jumping around. I'm so glad I've got a normal person in my room to share. <laughs> <laughs> I thought there was anyone not normal at no. X Factor. Like, only, only Dale, but we've ended up with him anyway. Me, I was the odd one out. <laughs> okay, so we've got a question from Alice in Poland now. Her name is, I, I think it's, pr- it's spelt Alicia, but she says you can call her Alice because her name in English is Alice. Her question Hello, is... Hello, Alice. Hi, Alice. Alice's Hello. question is, what would you do if there was an alien invasion and they wanted to eat your face? Uh, what would you do if an I'd alien find the hottest alien and make friends with it. <laughs> <laughs> You're just going to eat your face. That okay, was, that, yeah. that was Tommy. Definitely. No, that was, that was definitely Eddie. <laughs> um, what would we do? I had, that's the weirdest question I've ever been asked. I'd probably, I'd probably just run. What was the question? As far away as I could. What was the hide? If there was an alien invasion, what, 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 and and your face, face, what would you do? What would you do? What, it was here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would have to do my cry. Kiss it, wouldn't you? you kiss it, wouldn't you? No. That's a good thing, it's a slate. Oh! Next question. So the next question comes in from Marta. She says, "Hello. First of all, she wanted to tell you how proud she is of you. Um, she's oh, been with you Martha, since thank your you room- very much. We love you, love. love you, Martha. She's been with you since your room audition, and it's been an honor watching Martha. you grow professionally and personally. She wanted to ask, how has your life changed since you joined the boy band and um, released the single?" And um, if fame is as you, though it would be, I don't quite understand the last bit of that, but she wanted to know how your life has changed since you've joined the band. So how has our life changed? I mean, I mean, we're all quite, we're all quite true to ourselves. I mean, I know it sounds quite cliche, but we're all, we're all quite true to ourselves. And we, you know, we were all friends before. We were all at boot camp together. And uh, it's, been, it's been a really good experience, but we've all made close friends. And it's, uh, it's, been, it's been, like, really good for uh, us to all meet up together and it's been like obviously it's life changing for all of us if it, you know as it is we all went from starting this and then yeah. do you know what I mean and then we've all gone into a group it's, like, it's changing in that way the fact that we're in a group together yeah. but it hasn't changed our, our life dramatically in well, terms of like well we, we all say that I think we say that because we don't want to <laughs> <laughs> yeah. we did have about a hundred screaming yeah. fans chasing yeah. us actually around uh, Leicester Square which was quite interesting yeah. I can say that I don't think Leicester we've ever, ever had that before <laughs> I mean yeah. we've also we've also got things like I mean these these guys from like from South, I'm from up north so it's like been quite a life changer for me because uh, I've had to come down to all these boys and 
they've pretty much shown it's a bit, bit different down here. So, uh, <laughs> I've been up north, it's quite different yeah. down there as well. <laughs> <laughs> quite different. Quite different. <laughs> so, yeah, it's been really good. Have it's, a been, it's, been a, it's been a good, <laughs> it's been a good like, uh, insight to life all, you know, all around the UK. You wouldn't think it's too different, but it really is. <laughs> So yeah, as you were saying, they're having two hundred screaming fans outside. That that must have been the the one of the most weirdest but but best feelings. Yeah, I I can't even describe it. I mean, there's not even words to describe it. You feel like you don't deserve it, away, don't you? Why yeah. why it comes statements and normal person? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just, like, then, like, do you know what I mean? You just it's, it's, it's overwhelming, isn't it? It's, what's it's what's mental is walking up to a cinema, going to see a film, and somebody goes, "Can you just stand there and let us take a photo of you?" It's like I just walk into cinema, get my popcorn, get my drink, and go and sit down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So it's kind of like this kind of stuff doesn't happen to people like us. We don't. Yeah. Yeah, it it must be completely daunting. Um, Shauna wants to know which of you guys are single. Me, 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 me. Alex is the only one who's got a girlfriend. I'm the only one who's got a a girlfriend. Sorry, guys. Not like you'd be bothered. The rest (laughs) of the single. All right. Hey, you know what they say: two out of three ain't bad. Pardon? As in the words of Meatloaf, two out of three ain't bad. Yeah, two out of three isn't bad, that's right. Yeah. So if Alejandro had to choose to listen to one song for the rest of his life or eat spaghetti, which would you choose? Oh, good question, Alex. Well, one song, song that you listen to the rest of your life. I don't know what mine would be. Hero, I think everybody knows what mine would be. Okay, it definitely wouldn't be Hero because I'm sick of that song now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, after you. Uh, what can I do? What can I do? Yeah, what can I do? Our song, I'd listen to it for the rest of my life. My life. <laughs> Good choice. Yeah, definitely. So Charlotte Murs wants to know what are your celebrity crushes? Celebrity crush. Oh, I fancy loads of uh, celebrities. I ain't got uh, specific right, ones. Though. I'll just fancy loads of girls. Oh, my God. Um, <laughs> let, let, yeah, let, don't listen to Tommy. Um, I don't know. Who's, who's my, mine, to be honest. Dot Cotton. Who's gonna be, I know yours is going to be. Who's going to be? I don't know. Is it Mila Kunis? No. no. Harris. No. <laughs> Everyone's mine. Like no, 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 Megan Fox. Megan Fox? That's boring, Ali. No, Come on, man. Right. Alex, who's yours? James Arthur. <laughs> <laughs> James, if you're out there, can you... No, I'm joking. Adriana uh, Lima, mate. If you're going to be Min, oh. mine will be a cheering. Adriana Lima. That's our celebrity crushes. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we've been asked as well by Quiva here in, I presume Ireland, because Quiva is an Irish name, to tell Lewis to say hello to Shauna and to ask Tommy to say hello to Quiva, um, and they want to marry you both from Belfast. Shauna. Oh, hi, Shauna. Belfast, is it Quiva? Yeah, it is. You right, Quiva? It's Tommy, in case you didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> No, you thought the question earlier was the most random question you've ever been asked about the, the aliens. This one from Charlotte, yeah. it, it pretty much tops it. Would you rather fart Skittles or poo Maltesers? I didn't say that again, say that again. Would you rather fart Skittles or poo Maltesers? Poo Maltesers, at least it would taste nice after. No, I'll not fart Skittles, I'll, I'll be farting everyone's face. <laughs> no, no, no. Fart. Oh, you can't say that! Oh, Skittles, rainbow! Yeah, no, no, I think I'd fart Skittles because you can agree like a, like a machine gun. Take the rainbow. You must have seen the, the length of the time you sat in the toilet. <laughs> you could be doing it, Maltesers and playing on your phone and reading a paper. That's got to be a win-win situation. Mm, no, uh, agreed, <laughs> agreed. Agreed. <laughs> agreed. So we we get the last question now that comes in from Alec or uh, from Alice and and I think it's quite a relevant question. What has been your best moment um, so far with with recall? So I think tonight. What is it talking about? I think tonight's been my favourite, in my opinion. Yeah, de- definitely, definitely, tonight. definitely tonight. I mean, spending all the time with the boys and actually asking for people to come up to you and say. Oh, can you just stand there? We just want to take a photograph. That's just mental. I mean, I didn't think that happened we just three in months ago when X Factor turned us down. You know what yeah. I mean? I mean. Obviously, we, 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 we all spoke about when we were recording our single, thinking, oh, can you imagine if our single was played in the radio? Can you imagine if people actually hear our single and then here we are, people are chasing after us in the street. It's absolutely amazing. Fa- in all fairness, another thing is the message you're getting through. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. The message you're getting through from fans, as well. people saying that, I know it, saying, saying that, you know, you're, you're the reason that we listen to music, you know, we love stuff like that. The comments like that from people are just amazing and, you know, we really appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, we do. And and that makes you want to continue as well. I I, I suppose oh, yeah. it, it gives you the added oh, yeah. boost. It gives you a drive. It, it's, a mo- it's a motivation. Yeah. You feel like you're doing something right when you see the messages. You feel like it's not you're not just doing it for yourself. You're doing it for others as well, and that's that's a nice feeling. Yeah, yeah. 
Okay, so one last question, and it's from myself. Do you guys see yourselves getting Christmas number one this year? We always dream. We always dream, boys. We've dreamed it. We've dreamed it. Can we reach Christmas number one? We will give it our best shot to make it happen. No, no, I think we should. Let's just do it. Let's 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 do